Last month, Unreal Engine announced the next big update to UE5, with some big world building features that would be great for MMORPG developers, leaving us all wondering if Ashes of Creation would be upgrading to the next Unreal update, which is 5.2. Unreal Engine 5.1 set Intrepid back a bit in the last few months, with it taking a bigger toll on them than they thought, where something that originally was going to take a few weeks to upgrade ended up taking a few months, leaving a small bit of concern within the community that Ashes of Creation would never come out because Intrepid would always look to that latest engine update. Steven addressed this in the March livestream stating that they would eventually cut off the upgrades until post launch because as they continue to build the game, these upgrades will become harder and harder to apply as Intrepid further customizes the engine to fit with Ashes of Creation. But Intrepid still has a few more updates planned before we get to that point. As Steven Sharif confirmed that Intrepid will in fact be bringing Unreal Engine 5.2 to Ashes of Creation at some point, along with 5.3 in the future, potentially. Uh, you spoke in the last stream about how eventually Intrepid would hold off on Unreal Engine updates until post-launch, but didn't state if you were considering to upgrade to 5.2. Is that something you're planning on doing? And if so, what oh, features yeah. from it are you planning on utilizing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we're nowhere near close to stopping our... Um, our continued updates with 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 epic with unreal um so <clears throat> um 5.2 is on the radar we might even skip we might wait to do you know based off of the next iteration 5.21 or 5.3 um it just kind of de depends we have a, a technical team um that uh evaluates what's on the horizon with updates from epic uh, on unreal and we kind of make that decision based off of the team's needs for particular features that might be being released in the future um, but usually we want to give epic the opportunity to release the first version of a particular uh, major update um, and then go with the point one version of that <laughs> just from a safekeeping perspective so it sounds like Intrepid is learning a bit from their mistakes as they initially went for 5.1, which had a massive amount of bugs within it, which caused Intrepid to roll 5.1.1 into the update as well, which was a big part of the original delay. But with 5.2, Intrepid will be holding off a bit and wait for that 5.2.1 update or even 5.3 to make sure things go a bit more smoothly than last time. But what does 5.2 mean for Ashes of Creation? Well, there are two big features in 5.2. The procedurally generated environment tool, which allows for these massive areas to be generated fairly quickly, which then allow for the devs to go in and further sculpt and customize them. This system was insanely cool as the environment would reform around the objects you placed within that world to make them blend naturally within it. This feature though, I'm not sure how receptive people would be to it as you really don't want procedurally generated areas in MMORPGs. The worlds need to feel natural, not a copy-paste version of itself. But this Unreal 5.2 tech will make it so it could be pretty hard to tell the difference with a handcrafted environment. So it will be pretty interesting to see if Intrepid uses this at all, or even tweaks it to get it working to benefit them. There is also Substrate, which according to Unreal Engine 5.2's description, replaces the fixed suite of shading models such as Default Lit and Clear Coat with a more expressive and modular framework that provides a greater range of surface appearances and a wider parameter space. Basically, it allows users to have more control over the look and feel of objects in real time, allowing for better looking objects. Unreal Engine also has their Meta Human update coming later this year, which will allow for facial tracking through iPhones and motion cameras to get realistic facial animations, along with unlocking the ability for people to scan and upload their faces in Engine, giving a much more realistic appearance than we've seen in the past, perhaps even giving your character in an MMO more personality and and more fitting to you if the devs decided to implement something like that. Which I imagine may be why Steven alluded to 5.3 in that previous clip as well. Well, if you made it this far into the video, then I assume you are enjoying this content. So please help the channel out and click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and drop a comment down below with your thoughts on Intrepid doing yet another Unreal Engine upgrade for Ashes of Creation. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come. Thank you.